Welcome back, everybody, to Art with Ryan. And today we are doing the gross. Vern, how do you spell this? Uris Burner Gallery. Now, for those of you just joining us, this is we are doing the e commerce review of uh, art galleries from around the world. But the main thing we look at is two things is one, do they have a website with prices on the artwork? And two is, do they have an artist submission? So here's Grosvenor Gallery right here. Here's where it is. Phone number and it's in the UK. So this is going to be across the sea. So here we have this 200 drawings by Jim Moyer. Okay, that's super cool. Home, artist, exhibits, news, about, contact, publications. So we'll go home, artist. So here is how we look at the artists that they have here. Um, a lot of these look like they are drawn. They have a very kind of figurative work going on here. I like it though. I like it. Exhibitions. So here is the 200 drawings by Jim Moyer. Let's look at the view works. Right there, folks. Question answered right there. 250 pounds for this drawing right here. 250 pounds. So what are we seeing here? Prices on the artwork. Now the nice thing is it looks like, oh no, I thought they had shuffled everything down where that had sold. Uh, so all that you see first is the stuff that hadn't sold. Um, these are really loose drawings. These are a lot of fun. Um, oh, this owl is hilarious. I like that. Um, these are really cool. I appreciate that someone took the time to make these many drawings. I, this is really cool. So let's go back to other artists and see, oh, I didn't even think about this. Okay, View Works. This is Rashid Areen. Oh, look, red dot means it's sold. That's super cool. It shows you past works. Okay, here's a table. Further inquire, addition of 15. Okay, so they don't have it on everything. Let's look at this here. Inquire, copyright. All right, so maybe not everything. Brilliant black, brilliant white and crossed. Inquire, all right. So it's, that seemed really out of ordinary for this artist, but um, let's look here. What we're looking for is more prices. All I see is a lot of sold, which to me, they're showing you what they've sold, which is super awesome here. Okay, so they do kind of, I don't love when our galleries do that, that some things do and some things don't. I mean, they do have prices. I mean, that's a fact. Let's see, about GLO was established, American sociologists were 1993 to become collect works uh, to live in London and after the Second World War. Okay, so this is the history of the gallery. Uh, who's, how it's passed from hand to hand. Okay, that's cool. Um, I can definitely see when we look here at artists in the context of uh, a post-World War II Europe. So when we look at these things, we're looking at things that look kind of like Chagall, Chile. Um, you're looking at those kind of like Kandinsky-esque buildings and when Kandinsky did things like Mondrian. So I mean like... Um, that's no, more like a Modigliani. Um, but I mean, like, I'm seeing the influence. And then you see that Asian influence that they uh, have from New Delhi. Okay, I get that. I get that. So now let's go to contact. Here is their contact information. They have all the social medias. Good for them on the social medias. And then publications. Okay, publications. Oh, these are books about the artist that... Oh, lovely. This is really good. Um, again, we don't see a 
artist um, submission policy, but we do see prices on artworks, on some at least. So this is kind of like that mid, like, I like you, but I don't like you circumstance. So I don't know. Anyway, well, this is a much better episode than I've been doing lately. And thanks for joining me here at uh, Art with Ryan and looking at the e-commerce of different galleries from around the world. Go ahead and hit the subscription box below and the notification bell above for future episodes. Again, thanks for joining me.